Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about NFA. So NFA means a non-deterministic finite automata. So we have seen the introduction in the previous session. That means the types of uh, finite automata, that is what is uh, DFA and what is NFA. So we have discussed about the definition in the previous session. And one, once again, we'll recall the definition. So NFA is also a finite tuple. It will be represented in a finite tuple. Okay, so that is a Q sigma delta Q naught and F. So whereas Q is the states, the number of states, and sigma is an alphabet, alphabet, and delta is a transition function, transition function, and Q naught is an initial state q naught is an initial state and f is a final states and here also similar to our dfa here also the nfa will also be having a single initial state and it may have multiple final states and one more difference is that about this transition function so this transition function is nothing but we can have a 2 power q paths okay 2 power q paths right now let us take one example let us take one example and i will explain you about this nfa right and it is very simple to construct the nfa when compared to the dfa why i, I will tell, i will let you know so first let me write the statement so construct nfa construct nfa which accept all strings over an alphabet sigma is equal to 0 and 1 where strings starts with 0, 1. Okay. Here we need to construct the NFA which accepts all the strings over an alphabet where string starts with 0, 1. And let it be uh, whether it can be uh, DFA or NFA, first step we need to write the language. So language is equal to all the accepted strings. That means which strings starts with 0, 1. So 0, 1, 1, sorry. 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and so on. So this is also an infinite language. So here you can observe in all these strings, the string starts with 0, 1. So in all the strings, the string starts with 0, 1, right? Now, let us consider the same, the same procedure. So first, take the first string, which, are, which is of the length 2. So we require three states here. So simply go with the Q0, and Q0 upon 0, move to Q1, Q1 upon 1 move to Q2 and you can observe here so this one is a satisfied and this is a initial state this is an initial state and upon 0 it moves to Q1 and upon 1 it moves to Q2 and here see 0 1 this one satisfied and what about this one 0 1 0 so always it should start with 0 1 and after this 0 1 n number of zeros and n number of ones can be appeared so simply you can view the self transition for o 0 and 1 right 0 and 1 and this is the nfa this is the nfa so you need not bother about the transition over q naught on 1 and here you need not bother about the transition for q1 on 0 so there is no restriction that every state should have the transition so the state can have the transition or may not have the transition, right? If, if it is required, we can have the transition from one state to another. If it is not required, we need not use the transition over the alphabet, right? So here you can see, if the string is 0, 1, so Q0 on 0, it moves to Q1, and Q1 on 1, it moves to Q2, that's it. And if it is 1, 0, 1, you can observe Q0 on 1, there is no transition. So 
this thing itself will be rejected by this NFA. So we did not bother about the Q0 on transition 1 because it is not a valid. So simply you can eliminate. Right? So this is called the NFA. So in DFA, so we have to give the transition for Q0 over 1. Right? For every state, there should be a transition for the input symbols. One transition for the input symbols. Right? That is a DFA. And coming to the NFA, you did not give the transition for every input symbol. So this is a small example and one more example if you go with the ends with if you if you see the example ends with ends with 1 0 1 ends with 0 1 so let us let me write the language first so l is equal to ends with 0 1 the first one is will be 0 1 and here the strings should ends with 0 1 and the strings can start with any number of ones and zeros right so let me write the here so 0 0 1 and 1 0 1 and 0 0 0 1 and 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 and etc so this is also an infinite language right now let us take the state q0 which is the initial state so q0 upon 0 it moves to q1 and q1 upon 1 it moves to q2 which is a final state now here the question is ends with 0 1 so starting can be n number of zeros and n number of ones you can give the self transition for 0 or a 1 so this is the nfa which will accept the strings which are ends with 0 and 1 right so hope you understood this one so only one difference so in dfa we have to uh, specify the transition for every input symbol and here you can observe the q0 on 0 it can move to q1 or it can be remains in the same state so this is also possible that means so q0 on 0 so it will it can move to q0 or a q1 so depends upon the string it will decide the state to which it have to move right so this is also possibility in nfa where this is not possible in dfa so in dfa there should be only one path there should not be a multiple paths Right. So, hope you understood this NFA, a simple thing. So, this is a very easy to construct when compared to the DFA. Right. And if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. And there is one more concept called NFA with Epsilon that we will see in the next session. Right. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.